Here's how the college entrance cheating scheme worked. Some very rich parents used a consultant to offer hefty bribes to get their sons and daughters into very good schools. Two pathways to get them in. One, use big money to fix SAT scores and entrance exams. Two, bribe college coaches to admit unqualified students as athletes. There you have it. Sure leaves a bad taste in your mouth, doesn't it? The parents are rich and famous, the very people, the elites, who tell us how to live, how we are all deplorables. I don't want to hear another moral lecture from Hollywood. Thank you very much. I haven't asked, but I'm pretty sure those parents hate Trump. Just a few years ago, getting an unqualified kid into a good school and keeping them there would have been much more difficult because their intellectual shortcomings would have been caught. That was back in the day when tests and grades were much tougher. Today, Harvard's Alan Dershowitz says many schools have abolished failing grades. Many have dropped grades altogether. So once you've bribed your way in, you're in to stay. Another failure of the modern American university. This scandal has a long way to go. If you're very rich and you fund a new college building and your child gets in, is that OK? If your youngster studied, tried hard, got the grades but didn't get in, what do you do? Class action lawsuit, anyone? And even though these co elite colleges didn't know what was going on, do they face any liability? These are legal questions for the future. What we're dealing with now is national outrage. The rich and famous, business and Hollywood, have been wagging their fingers at us for years, lecturing us on racism, sexism and other evils. And now this. Last point. Some of the parents use the bribes as a charitable tax deduction. <laughs> I'm done.